on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Alright, now, this is the first day of Izuku being back, and Baku is with him. She's nervous and everything, she's gotten some of her way back, but the only thing is, she's expecting a huge amount of backlash, because their whole class heard what she said. And you know, rumors fly, she said this, she said hearsay, you know. And yes, they are just having a shit ton of looks. Just gawking at Izuku, but mainly Bakugo. Seeing how she's a lot more thin than she used to be. Seeing how she's just clutching to Izuku's shirt. As Izuku is pretty much eyeing everyone and wondering, what the hell? But when they go to the classroom, when everything pretty much dawns on Bakugo. Everyone's looking right past Izuku and directly at her with cold, dead, unwavering stares. Even the teacher has nothing to say. When Izuku and Bakugo go to sit down... People just can't <laughs> confront her and tell her to move away from him. Her just being like, wait, what are you talking about? No, we're not going to let you hurt him again. And by everyone's surprise, Bakugo starts crying. They're shocked at this because she's always had this tough girl persona and to see her just break down so easily. Wait, what's going on here? That's that's not how this works. You're supposed to you're not supposed to be crying. Oh, why why is this happening? Type thing. I didn't do anything. I I didn't mean anything I said. And they just start laying into her. It's like, you didn't do anything? How m much of the bullying, all the times you use this, just the quirk on him and everything. And this is when Izuku just pipes up. It's like, what about you guys? Hmm? Did you, any of you stand up for me? It looks right at the teacher. It's like, what about you? Whenever she was using her quirk, everyone else was using their quirk. What did you do? Settle down, settle down. But you didn't stop it. Then like, wait, where did this bad bone come from? And this is when a true shocked expression occurs because Izuku takes his fist and breaks the wall. <laughs> and they're wondering, what the fuck? fuck just happened oh yeah I have a quirk now him just taking out a chunk of it and crushing it in his hand and it just turns into dust then look at Bakugo he has a quirk yes yeah I do and I forgive Kotsky I forgive her Besides, it's not her fault that I fought, fell off the building. 
Someone pushed me. Then looking at her, he's like, nope, it wasn't her. I don't know who it was, but I didn't know him. Him? Yeah, I didn't know him at all. So, can you please leave her alone? You see, you see the state she's in? She doesn't need any more of this nonsense. Everyone's shot. Izuku is offensively standing up for Bakugo, someone who ridiculed, talked shit, all that terribleness to him, and forgives her for all that she's done. Of course, that's pretty much like, what the hell happened? Okay, it's weird enough that you almost died. And, you know, Kosky being how she is, of course she's main suspect. But, you having a quirk. You standing up for Kosky instead of dishing out some justice. No, that's revenge. There's a difference. Laying a girl would be better revenge. Living my best life would be better revenge. And she's punished herself enough from what I can tell. She's she pays one hell of a debt. Then yes, you can just imagine people just asking, okay, so what is your quirk? It's pretty much me, you know, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. As soon as I'm healed up, at least. Huh? Yeah. Apparently, when I almost died, it awakened it. So you're saying... Ugh. Yes, as long as I live and get healed up, chances are the same thing that hurt me won't even let you scratch. Whoa. So, you're effectively strong enough to... <sighs> Let's say Kasky started using her explosions on me. It may sting, but chances are, after so often, they won't even affect me at all. And then he sees a tear going down her face. Is what's wrong? I guess you're not gonna call me Kachan again, huh? Uh, uh huh. I think I it may be time to uh, put that name to rest for now. As he is going on with the school day. People looking at him and Kasky, but him having to constantly remind people, I forgive her. Oh, yes, and I have a quirk too. Eh, it's something. It is quite the whole interaction between Izuku and the fellow students. In fact, when it comes to his classmates and teacher, like, well, he ain't wrong. We pretty much just let everything happen to him. We did not give two fucks what happened. As long as we weren't involved. So yeah, this is this is on us too. But they can't help but wonder if Kasky didn't do it, if none of her goons did it, and who was this mystery dude? And why would he push Izuku off the roof? Eh, maybe we'll find out sooner or later. Because of Izuku trying to train, luckily recover your old does stand by the only thing is whenever he does end up getting hurt he doesn't notice that wait it's not affecting me as much 
What well, I mean, of course, that just means you guys are. No, I mean. Huh. It's almost as like it's losing its effect. Yeah, I mean, that's how you record. No, no, I mean, my quirk isn't working like it should. Wait, what? What, what are you trying to say? Uh, please explain. It's kind of like, yeah, I get a slight boom from it, but not as big as I did when I was pushed off that building. What? I think the more dangerous the situation is... No! No, no, uh uh, no, I'm, I'm not doing that. You didn't even hear me out. I know exactly what you're thinking. You want to put yourself in even more dangerous situations to the point where you're clinging to life. Uh, am I wrong? Uh, that's what I thought. No. But, Grandma, don't you, Grandma, me. We almost lost you before. We are not going through that hell again. <sighs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, but still, I I still want to, you know, test out see if I'm right and risk your life and the sanity of everyone who cares about you I see no no that is not all what I meant either way the answer is no so Izuku during 10 months of training just works on martial arts and whatnot. Well, spending more time with Katsuki and trying to get her to use her quirk more, get more healthy, in which it's hard. She doesn't want to use her quirk. Hell, she's even gonna play not even going to UA right about now. If anything, she just wants to be left alone. So, Izuku having no choice, but, okay, how about this, save me, what, as he jumps into, to a, a ravine, Kasuki jumping straight towards him, her realizing, wait, what are you doing, He's like, give you a chance to be a hero. She catches him and barely is able to keep flying using her quirk. To point her, she's surprised, like, wait, I can do that? Like, of course you can. Him flicking her on the forehead. Why did you do that? <laughs> I believe you can still be a great hero. You just need more confidence. No, that confidence is what turned me into an asshole. No, that was arrogance. There's a difference. As he just gives her a slight wink and she's blushing up a damn storm. What's wrong? Like, nothing. Just, <sighs> you're not hurt or anything, are you? Like, no. Well, I guess we gotta start climbing. Or you can just fly us out. Her giving him a pissed off look. Like, You're right. I can fly myself out. What? What? As she blasts off with whatever strength she can muster up at the time. And leaves easy you at the bottom of the ravine. Him having no choice is like. Okay, I guess I'm climbing. But also think, okay, I deserve that. And it's good to see that she's 
slowly transitioning back to herself. Now, it's the whole interest of Sam. I wish you can imagine Izuku. He's nervous, but thanks to this quirk as well as hell, if he gets hurt, all he has to do is survive. Recovery Girl begs him to take a recommendation for a less dangerous test. Him, like, hell no, I'm good. So, you can just imagine she's ready for a time when she, she's going to have to step in to save her grandson. Inko, she's kind of accepted the fact that he's going to get her. He's going he's gonna to want to be a hero, especially now that he has a quirk that makes him stronger after getting hurt. So... I gotta do is make sure I don't have a heart attack. Unless I want to see if I have a special cord that allows me to survive it. Izuku, knowing he's strong enough to at least break concrete, doesn't want to risk injuring his hand, knowing that his grandma is going to pretty much say, stop the test, heal him, or like, okay, you can leave now. He doesn't want that. So he does more strategic planning in which he deactivates them via the buttons. When it comes to the zero pointer, it's pretty much like, nope, just running off like everyone else. It's when he hears Oraka, it's like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Him having no choice but to run straight back, lift up the rubble from Oraga and run. The only thing is, the zero pointer is chasing them and picking up speed, so he has no choice but to launch Oraka out of the way as he is as a god holding back the zero pointer and losing. Much to the point where he's like, damn it, I know I can't, I know if I survive this, I'm good, but I am not willing to die yet. I'm not willing to risk that yet. Is in, there's a slight glow that starts to envelop him. As he slowly starts to push back the zero pointer, he's wondering, like, what the hell? Him's looking and saying, like, wait, what's this? Him getting distracted, and he gets crushed. <laughs> the test is over. Recovery Girl zips past everyone else, like, is it possibly injured? And goes to Izuku specifically. Like, my arm broken. I don't care. Leg. Uh-uh. I don't care. I think I fractured my skull. My bloody nose. I don't care. I need to save my grandson. Luckily for Izuku and Rikuru Girl, he had plenty of stamina to actually use. So he's almost completely healed. The only thing is, he is still given fractures. Him wanting to know why, he's like, this is what you get. This is your punishment. You're going to have to live with that. And heal slower. Yeah, he, he doesn't like that. This takes away from precious, I do mean precious, training time. When he tells her about this, he's like, do you want me to break it? Do you want it to be a full break? To a point where you need a cast? Um, you know what, since you are my doctor, I should listen to you more. Well, you're not as dumb as you seem. And old Rucka pretty much... How? What the hell was that? And yeah, Izuku doesn't fully know what he just did. What well, he does know is that if if he was really thinking and concentrating, he could just use that as an opportunity to push back the zero water and get out of there. But uh, concentration is a bitch. Once you lose it. Just uh, it's gonna go some something else. 
So when it comes to the two weeks, Izuku heals actually exponentially faster than even Recovery Girl really thought. To the point where she's like, wait, how are, why are you walking? Aren't you still hurting? He's like, nope, I'm good. Give me a second. As yes, All Might shows up. Izuku's like, what's going on? <sighs> Okay, don't make me regret this. What's going on? Well, since you decided that you will no matter what, and you mean no matter what, to get yourself into, uh, put into harm's way, I mean, you're going to be a hero, so it's pretty much inevitable. But still, you might as well train with someone who is also... A powerhouse. All oh Might seeing Izuku, which he has buffed up a considerable amount. So this is the one who refuses to die. Uh, I did not say it like that. No. You didn't have to. Either way. So, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. As long as you get healed good enough. Yes. Hmm. Very interesting. How about you go a few rounds with me? What? <coughs> yep. Why not? You see, really excited. But also, am I really going to spar with the number one hero? I don't know how strong I am now, so... It is all my just don't worry. I'll start off with five percent, which Izuku is flying through ten walls. All my realizing, oh, I, that was a that was a mistake, wasn't it? Recovery girl rightfully scolding him. Is Izuku is laughing? I didn't feel a thing. I'm sorry. What? Is Izuku rushes all my. Punching him right in the stomach, having him just spit up and ugly body slamming him. <laughs> okay, this is going to be more fun than I anticipated. Recovery girl, like, you guys need to leave. But, no, you are not destroying this place. Get gone. Oh, just seeing the destruction. Even the tiles on the floor are pretty much broken. <laughs> okay, do you have anywhere where we can train? Find it yourself. Stop fucking up people's shit. And yes, this is how Izuku's trained for at least a week when it comes to All Might. Though he does feel... A little off, considering that weird substance that started to develop his body. He does feel like uh, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. So the first day of UA, he does see Koski. He just knows that okay, she got second place. Which, thanks to the hero points, Izuku actually got first. She's uh, not being as disrespectful as Kan Bakugo would be. Not even, well, not only just because she's wearing a, a skirt. But she's also, yeah, doesn't have her feet up. Ia and all the other women's, which, yeah, don't forget, only... Females have quirks here. So, them seeing Izuku is instantly like, well, hello. Also, confused, like, wait, why is he here? Ida and a few others actually being there. To, like, he has a quirk. But she doesn't know what it is. Which everyone's asking him, which, what doesn't kill him makes you stronger. Them thinking, really? 
Yep. As then Ida really recognizes him. Wait, aren't you the kid that was pushed off the building of his middle school? Yeah. Seeing Bakugo's expression, she's scared. Well, at least more along the lines of... <sighs> Let's not talk about that. Ida realizing, oh, you know each other. Yeah, she used to be my bully. Really? And, wait. Was it? No, it wasn't her. As yes, he goes to comfort Bakugo as this brings back terrifying memories for her. You're feeling like a bitch, but... She, Izuku and Bakugo know she didn't mean anything by it. My cousin Mineta, she's just, she's just happy to have a guy there. Izuku seeing the excuse me, young lady, but are you lost? <laughs> oh, wait, are you hurt, Jeannie? I'm a high school student. Huh? Yeah, I'm a high school student. Really? Her just pulling out her student ID is like, oh, oh, I, I, I am so sorry. Asshole. The only way I forgive you is you, you go on a date with me. What? Bakker goes instantly saying, hell no. Uh, just looking at everyone staring at her during that is... Oh, I'm sorry. I guess you're already spoken for. Like, oh no, I'm single. Then there's no problem. Bakugo is just fuming mad. Izuku being dense is like, I'm sorry, but I'm not looking for a relationship right now. Oh, that's fine. We can just be friends with benefits. Everyone's shocked at the fact that Mineta actually said that, but Izuku's like, What's that? Them realizing just how pure Izuku is. So he doesn't know what friends with benefits are. So I'll be happy to teach you. In fact, we I can show you the true perks to having a friend with benefits. In private. Izuku feeling like this is... Those don't feel right about that. I don't like the way you said that. Bakugo instantly just like, no. You, you, you are not doing that. Just shutting that down as soon as she's able. Hell, I don't get I don't get it. You aren't dating him, so he's fair game. No, he's not. No one touches him. No one but you, you're saying. I don't like him like that. Well, I do. So, please step aside. Her starting to spark explosions. Mineta's like, oh. Oh, you got, you got one of them strong quirks. Remembering that hers is pretty much just for trapping and other things that can be useful. So, yes. Mineta has its force to drop it. When it comes to Ms. Azawa, she's pretty much... <sighs> okay, we're going to have a quirk apprehension test. And yeah. Just looking at Izuku, like, wait. Ah, uh, oh yes, Izuku Midoriya. Oh <sighs> uh, yeah, or whatever. <sighs> You're going to have to change in here. What? Yeah, we... We don't really get many male participants for UA, so we don't really have accommodation for you. 
what? So yeah, you're gonna have to change in the classroom while all the other girls go to the locker room. Izuku is a bit hurt, but also, the, uh, okay, that makes sense. Though yes, there are some male heroes or sidekicks and whatnot. They aren't that common. At least not common enough. So you gotta really think about it. Isuku looks at the big ass window like, what about that? Do you really think people are gonna peep, at, peep on you? Him just gesturing towards Mineta. Okay, fine, we'll close the windows. And that's the end of it. The only other issue is uh, Izuku, he tries his best not to feel weird considering he's changing in cl his classroom. And yes, though he knows he's alone, he just can't help but feel like something isn't right. Someone is watching him. He doesn't know who, he doesn't know who, but someone is clearly got their eyes on him and they are trained ready for him so he's rightly scared but he just brushes this off as uh, just being paranoid who would do such a thing who would be so creepy and crazy and whatnot because of the whole quirk apprehension test Izuku is not on the chopping block in fact, it's Recovery Girl and Mineta. But Izuku has this whole speech and whatnot saying how... Hell. Anyone can be here. I mean, Mineta's quirk may seem not much, but it actually has its uses. And when it comes to Invisible Girl, just giving them praise and telling them how their course can do this, how they're helpful for this and that. To a point where Bakugo gets jealous. It's like, okay, what about my quirk? Um, I actually... What? I haven't written about your quirk in so long. Wait, what? You, you told me not to. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. I, I, I did. Yeah, so, I think your quirk has, yeah, I think your quirk has a lot of potential. I just didn't, huh. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Water on the bridge. Them's... Man, that senses the tension. You know what? Let the past be the past, and let's just enjoy each other's company. Izuku being okay. Bakugo trying not to be that kind of girls. Hmm. Wow, I have a lot to atone for when it comes to. Things I've done in my life. Because of the whole heroes vs. villains, Izuku is excited to see that he's going up against Bakugo and Ida. Bakugo is terrified because she doesn't want to end up hurting Izuku. <laughs> and Oraka thinks she is the luckiest girl in the world right now. But also... She sees that he's really excited to be going up against his old bully. So she thinks that's kind of a red flag. And even asks, so you really want to be a Bakugo? Like, no. What? No, this would be good training for both of us. Really? As though it starts, Izuku and Oraka are actually talking. Pretty much like how things haven't been easy for Bakugo. At least 
her mental health wise and yeah you can say physical health as well so hearing that Izuku is actually trying to help her get more in tune to, like I want her to be a great hero it just shows just how pure Izuku is again one thing is Bakugo gets pissed when he sees that while they're actually performing this test it seems like they're flirting so she rushes Oraka it says get away from him Izuku is like wait what about me like fight booster chick I'll, I'll take care of this one this fragile girl's my is my opponent but what about me I her just ignoring it and just going on to the salt of Oraka Izuku feels actually kind of like you are you trying not to hurt me just stopping Kasuki, are you really? It has nothing to do with that. I promise you. No. You're scared of hurting me again. No, that's not it. I mean, I know how strong you are. It's like, no, you're trying to keep yourself from... You're not gonna hurt me. I promise. As Oraka is barely being able to dodge Bakugo's strikes, to the point where some of them do connect, leading to her getting hurt. Isuku's. Now what? Oraka, she's down. Uh. Are you gonna fight me or not? Uh. No, I'm still fighting Gravity Girl. She's unconscious. Fight me. As time runs out while they're arguing, Villain Team wins, and Izuku just brushes past Bakugo, pissed, while taking Oraka to Recovery Girl. As yes, Izuku waits for Oraka to wake up. And apologizes. Her realizing, like, okay, so. Uh, she really cares about you, huh? Yeah. But I'm, I'm really sorry that you had to take that. It's just. It wasn't fair. I should have been me fighting her, but she wouldn't. She wouldn't let me. And even when you were unconscious, she still said she was fighting you. So she was willing to let me go and take on Ida. <laughs> she really cares about you. Why well, she thinks I'm not worth fighting or. She doesn't think I can take the pain or whatever. It's this whole thing. I don't know. <sighs> if anything, I can at least say that she really regrets all she's done and really wants to change for the better, but she probably just doesn't want to face you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I guess, but I'm not that weak little boy anymore like I used to be. I believe I proved that I'm stronger than she previously thought. So, shouldn't, shouldn't I be given that kindness? Shouldn't I be able to prove how strong I've become or I don't know 
I can see that she's trying to protect me, but I don't need protecting. Uh, she's probably just trying to make amends for what she's done. But I already forgave her. It's her turn to forgive herself for what she did. At least, what she put me through. I mean, <sighs> it's this whole thing. I, um, well, give her some time. I'm sure she'll surprise you. I just wanted to go back to how she was before. Well, minus the whole cocky attitude, I guess. Give her time. That's all you can do is wait for her to, you know, forgive herself and stop acting like you're a defenseless child. It may take a while, but it's possible. Uh, yes, Izuku walks out with Oraka, and Bako shows up, seeing them together. Oraka's arm is wrapped around Izuku because she is still a little hurt and woozy, especially thanks to Kirby Girl's healing. So she runs off without saying another word, tears in her eyes. Izuku, again, he doesn't know why. Why did you do that, Oraka's? I knew it. What? Oh, nothing. No, nothing. Nothing at all. Yeah. Let's just say I understand what she's going through. Izuku takes Oraka home. Time's passed, and Izuku has noticed. Kotsky being a little weird. She won't really talk to him as much. If anything, she's almost avoiding him when it comes to them wanting to train. She blows him off at the last minute. But now it's the whole USJ. In which Izuku notices something's not right. He feels it in the air, but he can't explain it. Him trying to tell Ms. Aizawa, she's pretty much, well, maybe what you're sensing is 13. No, no, that, that can't be right. That, that can't be the only thing I'm feeling to make me have this sense of dread or whatever. No, I can say is don't worry about it. Just try to stay calm, I guess. You know. <sighs> Are you okay? No. I don't get paid enough for this job, and I am tired as hell. Th that makes sense, but, y you know... You should take care of yourself. I don't need your pity. The whole explanation, yeah, thirteen is surprised to see Izuku, but also like, okay, it's not that big a deal. Let's just move on. Hearing about, yeah, of course, it can be dangerous and everything. Is it can be dangerous for us as well as other people? And then Izuku chimes in, like, yeah, even my quirk can be dangerous. Everyone looking is like, really? 13's. What is your quirk again? What does it do? Well, as far as I can tell right now, it allows me to get stronger after each injury that gets healed. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that actually can be very dangerous. Them actually wanting an explanation, in which Izuku does explain the the more dangerous it is, the higher 
uh, boost he gets. If anyone else had this quirk who wanted to get as strong as possible, they would put their lives in constant danger every day just to get to the top. That he had to actually learn how not to do that and be more focused on his more physical training instead of just getting his ass kicked over and over again. Now, when it comes to Izuku actually, eh, let's just say, utilizing it for evil, all he has to do is pretty much be one of those people who would purposely get hurt just to sue somebody. Only thing is, the more he would do it, the stronger he would get, so the more dangerous risks he would have to take. And this is about the time when the villains do show up, in which Izuku's like, I knew something felt off. As everyone is pretty much being shredded by Zalon 13 to stay above the stairs near the entrance. Kodagiri being the way she is, is pretty much like, yeah, you ain't going nowhere. And, uh, yeah, that's not the best thing. We realize they're trapped. Izuku does allow Ia to get out there for help, as well as uh, get sent to the whole shipwreck zone with Froppy and Mineta. Mineta is clutching to Izuku, trying to play the damsel in distress so Izuku can save her. Him, it's like, I know what you're doing, but. I don't know if you can actually swim or not, so I have no choice. It only gets worse when she starts flailing around and getting a little too grabby in certain areas that Izuku pretty much wants to say, why, why do I feel like I want to drown you right now? To the point where he just tosses me to Froppy. Froppy, you didn't have to do that. I know, but at least I, I got a couple of feel. Oh. You pervert. Hey, at least I'm honest about it. I'm sure any other girl or woman would, would jump at a chance to get a piece of Midoriya. What? Seeing the blush on Froppy's face, is like, you're one of them, aren't you? I was like, no, of course not. Mm -hmm. See, if anything, it's worse for y'all. At least I'm honest. I'm honest about my pervasiveness, but you guys are putting on an act. He ran out like the way I had, but at the very least he knows I ain't fooling him. Now, bet. Froppy has no choice. Was like, I will kill you right here and now if you keep talking. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking right now. So, very loud. So you've seen Mr. Zawa pretty much get bodied by the Nomu. He runs in there and throws a punch, realizing, oh wait, this ain't doing anything. But then, flips the Nomu to a point where. It's on its back and throws it at Shigaraki before she can actually touch sue you. So, yeah. You can imagine. She's mad. Izuku is pretty much head to head with the Nomu, which is worse considering no one for all. He can only do so much, even when he trains with All Might, so it's pretty much like a free for all. Bare knuckle brawl to the point where Izuku has a pickup speed, but every so often when he does get hit, he knows something broke. When he clashes fish with the Nobu, he feels the cracking of his knuckles and his arm, but he won't stop fighting to the point where his arms are completely broken and he has no choice but to use his legs, in which the Nobu goes for a nut shot. Like a bitch. Then again, this is a fight, not a match. 
So Izuku is in pain as the Nomu kicks him straight to the stairs, making a huge crater. As everyone else is praying much, what the hell? This is when Bakugo shows up. And she is going demon mode on this Nomu, blowing up arms, legs, torsos, to a point where she's pretty much using up as much sweat as she can gather, and then pulling the pin on both goblets, hitting the Nomu point blank in the face, killing it. And Shigaraki, she's actually impressed. One thing is, Bakugo's exhausted now. Though she has, though Godless are slowly getting more and more of those sweat built up again, she's pretty much too tired to even really lift up her arms. So, Izuku is watching as, yeah, Bakugo gets jumped. He nearly is able to get back up again and just shuffle towards her with his broken arms. His leg is fractured. He's gotten like, let's say, mm, three broken ribs. He knows he can slowly heal, but it's not fast enough to fix this. So he ends up Naruto running straight to Kasuki. Until he notices something right behind him as he gets drop kicked and stepped on. <laughs> You're way too weak to save her. You know that, right? Wait. Him looking back. You. You did this. You. You the one that pushed me. Yeah. I'm actually sort of flattered that you remembered me. How's it been? I, what are you doing here? What's it look like? Wreaking havoc. That's what we do. So is this that's the whole goal of the League of Villains? Like, You are such an idiot. No. You, you don't understand a damn thing, do you? What? <sighs> don't worry. If anything, survive this, and maybe we'll talk together again. Will you, as a beam of light shoots through Izuku, as he is unconscious. And this is about the time when All Might shows up and she is pissed beyond belief. So, it's a complete, utter beat down. So when Izuku wakes up, he is scared. He is feeling was like, okay, well, please, 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 don't tell me I'm... Am I dead? Him looking at Recovery Girl, as well as his whole class, and all my... Them just looking, like, are you okay? Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what did I miss? Really? That's all you had to say. It's like, wait, wait, where's Koski? It's like, I'm right here. Seeing that, yeah, she's in the bed beside him. Oh, I'm so happy that you're alright. Me too. Uh, so, you looked like you knew him. Yeah. Uh, what are you talking about? Person that almost killed you. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah! That's the one that pushed me! What? Just explosions start to show up as like... 
Oh, he said something about me being too weak. I asked him why he did this. Why is he here? He just said he's there to wreak havoc. Yeah, he just said that's what we do, and I. But then it got weird because then I just I asked him why does the League of Villains want to do that? So and he called me an idiot. What do you mean? I can't understand it, but he seems a little disappointed for some reason. Wait. I saw a beam of light. So, chances are he has a quirk too. I... I Actually, yeah. That that could actually be a possibility. Wow, I. So I'm not the only guy with a quirk. That's great. Wait, but no, that's bad because he's a villain. But it's great that I'm not alone. But oh, oh my god, this is really confusing. Bago just. Yeah, pretty confusing. But on the bright side, you're safe now. Him just looking and just being just happy. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I, I am safe now. As he gets sent home after being healed by Recovery Girl, who gives him a scolding about not being careful. But he reminds her, like, yeah, I had no choice but to do it, or else my classmate would have died. So she has no choice but to just, I forgive you, but please, think about self-preservation next time. So you can just imagine Izuku trying his best not to get his ass whooped. You can imagine... Him thinking, okay, so I know this, such and such, such and such. Ugh. But why did he say it like that? He said that's what we do. Huh. I don't understand. Unless... Huh, wait, was he, if he wasn't talking about the League of Villains, who, what was he talking about when you said we? Is, now we cut to, huh, who guessed, all for one, and Shigaraki, pretty much, Think this is a good idea. It doesn't matter as long as our goals are met. But he You don't seem to understand, Master. This guy, I don't think he's trustworthy. It doesn't matter. For as soon as we're done with him, we can dispose of him. Do you really think he'll go down without a fight? <laughs> of course not. But I truly look forward to it. It should be an interesting fight, to say the least. And that quirk of his is definitely going to come in handy. Well, what about Izuku Madoya? Let him figure things out. If anything, it could be an interesting, you know, sideshow. Who knows what kind of entertainment we'll be able to witness once everything is brought to light. 
I don't know, Master. This could be... It seems like it's going to really end up buying us in the ass. Tomura, all you have to do is not die. That may be asking a lot coming from you, but still. It's not that hard. And that is how this part ends.